All right, we're off. I can't go down there because it's gonna die on me. But oh, I don't know what he's doing. All right, I don't know what they're doing, but I guess they're gonna go do some stuff. But we're gonna go riding. So since I've not gone riding in a while, and it's dead again. Wait. I know it's acting like it's got like a dirty car or something. But welcome back to the vlog, guys. Welcome back. We're on the Polaris. I wanted to make a different vlog, but I kind of got shut down because the quad's not running right. So I wanted to do a cool button video, but apparently our button kind of ruined it. So, uh, yeah, I was just going to ride around the pasture instead and have a grand old time. Anyways, I'm going to go real slow through because I haven't actually ridden this far out yet. And I'd much rather not have to push it through all this stuff. Woo! Yeah, so, again, as I said, welcome back to the vlog, and uh, we're riding the Polaris 110 ATV. Uh, I've only ridden one of these, I think, like, twice in my life, so, uh, I've ridden a whole bunch of 110 ATVs, never ridden something this small before for a, a solid while. So, it's been a, a solid little bit since I've ridden, you know, something like of this nature, so... We're gonna rip this for a little while, hoping this all comes out right, hoping nothing happens to the footage or anything. Uh, this is the first time I've been syncing up this microphone. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. I don't know. We're just gonna tear it back and forth through this field, and hopefully the battery will charge up enough to where it'll quit dying, or like it'll air itself out or something and quit being such a pain in the butt to deal with, but uh, we'll see. Speed is the, the fix for everything, right? But yeah, this quad's actually pretty quick, so I was really surprised. I thought it was gonna be a lot slower than this, actually. Here we go, get around the pond. It's it's a very maneuverable quad, but uh, so uh, yeah, we're gonna haul butt up this way. Um, this is a very fun little toy to mess with and to fly around the yard with. I actually haven't taken it for a hot lap around the yard in a while, so I guess here we go. Don't hit the car! <laughs> Alright, full throttle! Uh, it's revving up. It takes a while for this little guy to actually like, rev up, but once she does, she hauls and she's running a lot better than she was down in the pasture. I think we're doing pretty good here. Got some donuts. There we go, get her, get her loose. I think she's good now. Let's see. Let's slow her all the way down and see if she dies. Yeah, she's good. All right, she's good. We can go down to the pasture now. I fixed it. <laughs> Just gotta let it warm up a little bit sometimes is all you gotta do. We're gonna go down to the pasture, go ripping around, and uh, we're good to go. Sorry for all that. Um, was trying to get it running. And so what we're riding on right now actually is a dirt bike track. There's a 450 in the garage that uh, they own as well. So we can, uh, I was not allowed to ride that sadly, uh, it was actually not theirs, it's their friends that owns a motorboat store that I posted some stuff to on my Instagram story. What are they doing? What are y'all doing? That's awesome. Oh snap. Don't hit that. Hadn't died yet, so I think we're good. Stay right there. Alright, so now we get to ride in the field. This is, it's rolling, it's fine. Gotta shut this gate real quick. No cows got out. That's good. All right, so now the fun begins. And since the quad's running so well, cue it dying on hit the throttle. Oh, I was about to freak out. I was like, it's about to die. It did not die, so we're good to go. All right, so we're at our, our, our cousin, our friend's place. As I said, I wanted to film a proper moto vlog here. And so I get to finally on the Polaris ATV. So we are on the Polaris. Yeah, we're hauling butt through this field right now, and it's running pretty good. And hopefully it doesn't just die on me. We'll see, though. No low gas level, but I think we might be needing to kick it into reserve soon. It kept dying on me, so I don't know what's up with that, but it was running great earlier. I wanted to take it more slow, but I'm so scared it's going to die, I don't want to. 
but uh, we're out here in the pasture hauling butt. Uh, we'll hit some mud in a second since hopefully it doesn't die on us, but uh, we'll hit some of that in a second. Like right now, we'll take it to some stuff. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's running so much better. So. It's running fine. I'm not too concerned anymore, pretty much. So. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Go slow. Slow through the mud. That's what they always taught me. So. Nice and slow. Last time I took this, I killed it. So, hopefully we won't kill it this time. Well, that's really deep, so that's probably why it died. Not gonna die this time, though. There we go. Alright, let's hit the jump and see if we can get the jump right here. Uh, again, as I said, ton of fun. And again, this is another actual, y'all can tell, y'all can't tell. This is another dirt bike course, actually. Let's see if we can pop a wheelie. Let's see. Ready, y'all? Let's pop a wheelie. Oh, yeah, we popped one. But, uh, yeah. So, ton of fun out here on this motocross course. We're gonna, that's, that's pretty deep. We've dug it out a whole bunch, so I don't want to go through that and kill the quad. Even though it's running fine again. So, uh, we're, we're gonna go through this one, though. Nice and slow. Here we go. And again, only two-wheel drive, guys. Only two-wheel drive. So, just take it nice and slow, nothing crazy, and she does fine. The CTV seems to be messing up a little bit, though, so. Hey! Hey, look at that. We got it through it. We get for, hey, we, we went through that earlier, and it made it, but I don't know how long it's going to make it through that. Also, I'm on top of the berm, so. Uh, but again, for a 110, this thing does amazing. So, I'm actually really impressed with how it does as a 110 in general. This one's really deep, by the way. That was really deep. Hey, you made it. Perfect. Oh, you just can't go splashing through that stuff. The quad just doesn't like when you go splashing through that stuff. So, but it's running so much better now. We cleaned out the air box as a problem, but here, here's another mud hole right here. Let's see if we can hit it. Let's see how good it's gonna do. Oh, we're this deep. Oh, we got through it, though. That was deep. We're not going to go through that again. That was really deep. <laughs> ton of fun, though. See, Weston went through that. He went earlier. We went through this, and this floods it out every time. So you do not want to go through that. This right here we can go. This is not, this isn't deep at all. It's just really muddy. This is some serious mud right here. Oh, that's a little bit deep. Okay. Let's get through this real quick. Yeah, this thing will do, I'm telling you, this quad will go anywhere and do anything. So, uh, telling you guys, it's, it's pretty impressive. We can get this hole too. Let's hit this one real quick. This is a this is a real fun hole to hit right here in this quad because, see, we have enough, there's enough room right here. It's See, it's not even going over the tires really. It's the stuff that goes over the tires that, that scares me a little bit. So, and you just got to take it slow, easy, controlled. And it'll be fine. Uh, the reason we are flooding it out is because he goes, if you saw, I, I'll put the clip in, he goes 90 to nothing through him. And you can't, you just can't do that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's see, can we hit, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a deep one. Let's see, let's go through it once. Let's see. You know what, I'm going to send it. Send it for YouTube. Here we go. I'm going to go slow, though, because I don't want to mess this thing up. And I know the CTV is already getting messed up because I can hear it clicking now. So, that's awesome. This is how you go through mud in one of these, by the way. It just... Oh, that's really deep. I'm getting wet. Oh, it didn't get stuck, though. Didn't get stuck. <laughs> Going through this one now. Not stuck yet. Whoa. We're stuck now. No, we're not. Ha <laughs> ha. Awesome. Making it through anything. Climb the berm. Oh, yeah, there's mud over there. See, I won't go through that. If this was my own quad, I would. But, uh, it's not my quad, so, uh, this one's muddy, but it's, it's light mud. There we go. Yep. So, let, let's run the course. I'll show you the actual, uh, the track real quick. We'll run through the, the racetrack, because it's friggin' dope. Like, this racetrack, the way they built this is really cool. So, we'll go this way, um, and we'll, we'll go through it. We'll run through it pretty slow, actually. The starter here, I actually did one over there one time, so, 
This is where the track starts. I'm going to take it real slow for you guys. Because, again, I don't want this thing to cut off on me and me have to push it home, even though I think it would start. So it goes this way. Go this way. I'm going to try to bypass all the mud. Uh, you see the track? See, this is the whoops, actually. The whoops. They're just all muddy here right now. Go this way. Big jump right here. Big mud spot. Gonna cut that off. I don't want to get too muddy right now. I don't, I don't, need, I don't have any shoes on, so it's kind of like, well, I don't want to get muddy. Big mud hole right there. Turn right here. A little berm coming up on this hill. Boom. Another big mud hole. Take the lightest portion. And uh, right here. Let it 